Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm organizing for you my bathroom medicine cabinet and drawers. Now this is part of um, a once a week clean out and organizing with me that I wanted to share with you here in January. So this is the first one of the first week. So my bathroom is not the nicest. Um, it's something we haven't redone yet but I wanted to organize it for you to show using things you already have on hand, Dollar Tree bins that I already had on hand, I didn't go buy anything, and just how decluttering and get rid of, getting rid of things makes your space much more accessible and organized and clean. And my husband's reaction was pretty great. He's like, whoa, I can't find anything. It's too clean and too empty. So yeah, if you wanna get organizing, stay tuned and watching this and keep looking for more in the next coming weeks. So I'm just going to share with you my process I did of cleaning out my bathroom. Alright, so here is my medicine cabinet before. Um, it's not overly loaded, it just definitely has some areas that could be reorganized and some decluttered. So yeah, that's what's going to happen. And I'll take you down to my drawers. So it's been two years since we lived in this house and I haven't like really reorganized. So I do have some jewelry stuff here and hair products or hair um, ponytails, comb, stuff like that. Second drawer, my makeup and some more hair stuff and it's just not well organized. And then this one's just kind of some of my husband's stuff. It doesn't fit in there super well. It's just kind of laying in there randomly. And under here um, it's not bad. I just threw some stuff in there that we had gotten for Christmas. So it just, it's not a great place to organize because it's deep and actually goes down lower than what the floor is. So it's kind of weird. But yeah, um, since we're not going to be redoing our bathroom this year at all or anything, it's just got to be reorganized and cleaned out. I can't believe how bad I let this get. That is disgusting. Like, I don't even want to touch some of these things, but it's my own hair. Ew, ew, ew. Yep, that's all just going. And then I need to wipe this nasty thing out. These bins are either from Lewis, like three for a dollar or a Dollar Tree. I can't remember, but they work perfectly. To fit in my drawer. Seriously, who needs all these colored ponytails? Like, these are ones my nieces would wear. Totally. <laughs> I don't think I need all these. Alright, to my jewelry time. I'm gonna try to maybe put these somewhere else. I like to have some of my go to jewelry pieces. Like, I wear a watch every day. Um, I'd like to have those easily accessible, or like some of these rings. I just don't know how to organize them yet, so I'm going to try to figure that out. Not sure why I have headbands in the wrong drawer, so I'll just put those in the correct drawer. And I might have too many headbands now.
All right, I'm on my last drawer. This is my husband's stuff. And as you can see, my garbage has gotten quite full. Um, I have some extra little bins, which is really exciting too. So yeah, I just gotta figure out how to make this organized for him. Now organized. Um, many of these, my husband's, oh, there we go, my husband's um, deodorant and um, cologne were down in a drawer and I thought it'd be better just to have them up here. Um, just a couple soap things and then my plug-in for my electric toothbrush that I just got and then an empty shelf. So that's awesome. I love emptiness there. Um, we don't need all these toothbrushes anymore since we, uh, since I have that one now, which I just got for Christmas. And then I just threw in our toothpaste and our travel toothbrush containers. These are all my like coconut oil, Vaseline, and my stretch mark body cream that I made. And then some things I rarely use up top, like a spare razor. So that is nice, just to have some openness. I really like that. And then this side, I just kind of rearranged a little bit, got rid of some things I no longer need. I use these oils in here, so I do have um, like tea tree oil and vitamin E oil in here. Vitamin E oil is great for um, stretch marks as well in pregnancy. I use some Rodan and Fields on my face since I have a sensitive face. These are extra deodorants actually. I was experimenting a while back with different types of deodorants, so I don't know if I'll keep those or what I'll do. Then I use both these and my makeup brushes, they're not with all my other makeup stuff just because I have them in a jar. I switched out my Epsom salt jar and put in these. I don't know if I really like that because it's a little deeper, but the Epsom salt gets moisture in it and so it gets sticky. And then way up top, fingernail clippers and um, tweezers. So the most excited about my drawers. I just pared down the jewelry I have in here and stuck them all in made some extra holes and stuck the ones I wear most often in there um, and I just kept like a watch one bracelet and a couple of my rings in there and then this is more just some of the extra ponytails and some extra clips in my Premier Design jewelry box like I said a lot of headbands so we'll see if I end up pairing some of those down um, and just my brushes and um, hair trimming scissors because I cut my own hair so that really just looks so much cleaner <laughs> All right, second drawer. Yeah, it's empty, all right. I threw a lot of makeup away that I didn't need. Um, I really like having these in here. This is so great, because then I can see everything, grab what I need, and not have to dig around. And this is mainly my eye makeup, and then a couple blushes, because I don't wear a lot of makeup. And then just an extra mirror if I need it. So extra space in the back. Um, I'm kind of trying to prepare for when baby comes so that I have extra room. All right, bottom drawer, if you remember, I didn't really know what was going on. Um, so just some of our extra, well, our electric razors. Um, this is all Blaze's electric razor stuff in those two boxes. And then my curling iron and straightener, which had been over here, just kind of laying around in there. So I did rearrange that, it makes it much easier to get. I do not use a blow dryer, so didn't have to worry about that. All right, and then under here, not a lot changed. Like I said, it's kind of awkward and deep. Um, just rearranged so I put some things in there and then just some extra things that we got for Christmas um, to use in the bathroom. So, um, and I still do have some feminine products in that little box back there. And I know I don't need them when I'm pregnant, but if guests need them, they're available then. So I just like that it's very simple and I don't need a lot of height because I don't need to put a lot of Thanks things. Thanks so much for watching my video. Don't forget to hit the like button as well as subscribe if you're new. I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs, and homemaking. And I would love to have you join my YouTube community. So again, get out there and organize. It's a new year, time to restart, refresh, um, and just make your home a place where you feel good about opening cupboards and drawers and finding things that you need. Anyways, have a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next video. Bye.